this video we will learn about Lepromin test. It is a non-diagnostic test for leprosy. That means it is not used in diagnosing the disease. But it can be used for classification of different types of leprosy. The principle behind this is delayed hypersensitivity reaction of leprosy antigen. How exactly will we do this test? The first step is extract the antigen from the mycobacterium leprae and inactivate it. Inject that inactivated antigen which we took from the mycobacterium leprae intradermally into the muscle of the forearm. Now we get two outcomes that is a positive result or the negative result. In case of negative result we do not see any or major hypersensitivity reaction. So we'll leave that aside for a bit. Now coming to the positive result. We see for Nandus reaction it is an early positive reaction appears as an indurated area. Indurated is a red inflamed area within one or two days. Now the Mitsuda reaction, it is a delayed granulomatous reaction appears after 3 to 4 weeks. What did we interpret from the test is the lepromin test is negative in lepromatous leprosy but it is positive in tubercular leprosy. In case of tubercular leprosy, there are high number of T helper cells so they recognize the antigen and produce an allergic reaction against it. So that is why we saw Fernandez reaction and the Mitsuda reaction in the positive result in tubercular type of leprosy. But in LL, that is lepromatous leprosy, there are less number of TH cells. Less number of TH cells means no recognition of the antigen we given to that person. That means low immune response is produced. So there is no recognition of the mycobacterium leprae by the TH cells. So no allergic reaction is produced. So that is why we did not see any induration or granulomatous reaction in case of negative result that is in case of lepromatous leprosy. So the uses for the lepromin test is uh, used to classify the types of leprosy and also to assume the prognosis. LL is more severe form due to the less TH cells. Exactly whenever we have the good immune system it helps in fighting the antigens and more contagious and multibacillary smear test will be positive. Tubercular leprosy is less severe form and has hypopigmented non-sensory lesions less contagious compared to the LL type it has only one or two bacilli and the smear test will be negative. So this is a positive lepromin test in the tubercular type of leprosy patient. This is a Fernandez test. We see this uh, area red inflamed. This is an indurated area. We see this after injecting the inactivated mycobacterium leprae into the forearm of the patient after one or two days. This is a Mitsuda reaction where we see the delayed granulomatous reaction after three to four weeks. So this is about leprosy.